I was on my way to the airport and I couldn't get the image out of my head, so I just turned around and I came here. Whoa, slow down, calm down. What image are you talking about? Dad passed out on the couch Christmas morning. There was an empty decanter of scotch that was full the night before. For all I know, he was chasing it with oxydicone. Didn't you see the interview? Your dad was never hooked on pills. He said that was just a story that Victor planted to discredit him. He knows damn well Victor didn't plant the story. So it was you. I couldn't get through to him. No matter what I said, Dad would not admit he needed help. So you thought you'd show it in his face publicly, huh? Yeah. Face it, kid. Your dad is <laughs> destined to self-destruct. So what? I just I let him? I mean, you already tried the Hail Mary, man. I don't know what else is there to do. There's you. <laughs> no. I've done that, got tossed out on my if ass. If you would just go back, I know you could convince him to look, stop. Look, it's, it's not gonna happen, okay? I'm the last person on Earth your father will ever listen to, so why should I put myself through that again? <laughs> Sorry. Because you'll regret it every day of your life if you don't. You're late. You know what it's like to struggle with an addiction, so if anyone should put himself out for Jack... <laughs> Put myself out for the guy who shipped me off to Hong Kong just as things were getting into the worst for me. He sent you to China to get you away from the gambling. Oh, yes, because they don't have poker in Hong Kong. Not to the people you owed money to. The same people who are still making your life, our life, hell. That's where Dad's heading. He's going to mess himself up so bad, he won't be able to find his way back. Billy, Kyle's already lost his mother. I can't make any promises, but I'll try, okay? Thanks for coming. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry you're missing your ski trip. You know, I just kept thinking about what you said, about how we might need to take more drastic measures if things with Dad get worse. Have they gotten worse? Well, that's the thing. We can't wait till they do. I'm not willing to wait. So we figured strength in numbers. We need to fill us. I think it's just important that, that Jack doesn't feel like he's being ambushed. Yeah, let him. As long as we get him to confront his problem. Yeah, but we can't lecture him. <laughs> That's gone over really well so far. I never really worked with my mom. There was this time that I came home from boarding school. When you barely recognized her. Can you imagine a wonderful and compassionate mother saying goodbye to her and coming home to someone who was only thinking about when she was going to get her next drink. I remember I was competing in this dressage show. And I was really excited because I had won my first blue ribbon. But when I looked up into the stands, mom, anyway, she didn't even pick me up that day. She sent the driver to get me. And when I got home, she was just full of excuses. She was really good at excuses. I remember calling her on it. And it was a long, long time before she spoke another civil word to me. And I just remember thinking that maybe if I had told her how hurt I was, instead of coming down on her, that maybe that would have made the difference. OK, so we put all our feelings on the table. <laughs> And what? I hope that Jack chooses us over the drugs. Seems a little bit like amateur hour, folks. So find someone who who knows Jack, who really knows him, who's been through this, and have him help you. Well, do you want to call him or should I? Usually I'm the one walking into things. Sorry, just that sort of day. That's all right. You recovered from Christmas? Well, you know, it might take a while after spending so much of it with my dad. Heard you spent a lot of time with Nick. Yeah, he uh, got me an easy bake oven. Oh, wow. Must be serious then, huh? Oh, you know, we're just having a good time. Yeah, well, I hope so. 
I'd hate to see my brother hurt again. You know, Phyllis gave me the same warning, which is laughable, actually, because she chewed him up and spit him out, and then stomped on him. What? I'm just really hoping that you're with Nick because you care about him, not because you're trying to stick it to Phyllis. Hey, Dad. What are you doing at home? What? What is all this? Is, is there a problem at the office? You fired me. I don't work for you anymore, remember? Okay, what then? If this is more fallout than that lie that Victor fed the press... Dad? They know. Kyle said he was responsible for the story. We also know why he planted it. Then I'm sure you're also aware that it's no longer an issue. I'm off the meds. Jack. You and I both know that isn't true. This guy thinks anyone who takes a pill is an addict. Is that it? You're believing him? Is that why you're all here? I'm sorry to mess up your little intervention. That's what this is, isn't it? But you're wasting your time on someone who doesn't need it. If you're intent on making the world a better place, though, I'm sure you can find an addict and skid row that you can help out. Don't let me get in your way, please. We're not going anywhere. Okay, fine. I will. Come on. Jack, 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 Jack. If it's true that you don't need this, then why are you running? What do you have to hide? Are you really asking me that, Victoria? Well, you know, when you care about somebody, you, you have to ask the tough questions. I know, I realize I'm putting you on the spot right but, now. But you would like an answer. OK, well, I can tell you this much. I didn't go looking for this, you know, getting involved with my sister's ex. And I haven't dated in a really long time. You know, I got divorced and I threw myself into my work and I was happy. I mean, I thought I was happy. But I don't know, when I'm with Nick, it's like... It's like a line from a song suddenly means something that it never meant before. And I walk around smiling all the time for absolutely no reason and the phone will ring, and I'm excited to pick it up, and I know this sounds ridiculous. No, actually. No, it doesn't sound ridiculous at all. It sounds like you're falling in love. Well, clearly, you are intent on saving me. I'll humor you. Save me! Save me! But after this, if one of you throws this crap in my face again... Hey, Jack. Look what's full. So Kyle told you about that, too. He said, I, I can't really recall how he put it, but I think he said that you told him that we had a couple drinks. That never happened. In fact, I advised you against it. Did you? Well, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I guess I got yeah. confused. OK, yeah, you did. Here, I, I want you to well, take no, that. No, take no, that. No, I don't no, want it. Is that one of our family ornaments? I gave it to, to Phyllis for Christmas. You did. You said we were family. We are. Not when you asked me to lie for you. Well, let's talk to this. My father lied to me my entire life. You know how that affected me. You know. You gave that ornament to me. You said I was family. And I, I thought I, I thought I finally had a home. Don't ask me to take this. Back. Don't ask me to watch you medicate yourself to death. One bender on a lonely Christmas. It's hardly uncommon. Jack, we got help. Yes, we did. You could join the club, motley of a crew as it might be. And if you're not going to do it for Phyllis, then, then think about Kyle. Do you have any idea what it was like coming in, finding you passed out on the couch? Do you know what I thought? For a few seconds, it was mom all over oh, again. Oh, Kyle, Kyle, that listen. Same feeling and just shot. Kyle, through. I told you I would be okay. I will. 
Mom made me that same promise, and a few weeks later, I was shoveling dirt on her coffin. Don't let that happen, Jack. Come to a meeting. Come on, man. Jack, it's a safe environment, you know? It's, it's, it's people just like you in the same situation. It is not the same situation! Look, I, I admit I shouldn't have gotten drunk, and maybe I got carried away with the pills, but I'm done now! It's over! Your back hurt, Jack. Yeah, that's what happens when you go up pain medication, Billy. So you're saying you're clean? Yes. Yes! What do you want, a urine test? Blood polygraph? Fine, I'll take it. Jack, easy. Easy now. No one here is trying to put you on the defense. No, you're trying to get a confession out of me, and you're not going to let up until you do. What is this, a membership drive? The, the, the program has you looking for recruits? What, you don't get your allotment? You don't get your recovery coin? Hey, 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 that's enough. Yeah, yeah. lay off of Neil. We asked him here. No, you know what? I think we all need to lay off. Doesn't do any good to have people in your face, does it, Jack? You know, I didn't listen when they did that to me. You know what I did? I, I actually, I, I found a, a bar. I found a dive full of lowlifes to commiserate with. What I do, I sat there day after day, all day, every day, all night, every night. One drink after the other, Jack, just shutting the world out. Until one of my new drinking buddies, he robbed my apartment and he attacked Lily. He attacked my little girl. And Lily, she didn't want anything to do with me after that. I couldn't blame her. I didn't care about anybody, her, no one in the family. And you see, it wasn't because I was a bad man. It's because I was sick, Jack. Neil, I feel for you. I do. And I'm glad Lily's fine, and I'm glad you found answers. But look at me! Do I look like a man who's gonna sit at the end of a bar or wait on a street corner for his next fix? I'm not sick! Yeah, you are, Jack. Oh, look who's talking. Now I get to hear addiction advice from you. Uh, I'm sorry if I seemed a little intense. I was actually going to say bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> what's she saying about Oh, me? hello. How'd it go with your dad? Everything okay? Uh-oh, what's going on with dad? Saving his family. Apparently, I'm not doing a good enough job. Okay, well, you can just leave me out of that. Avery, I'm glad that I didn't scare you off. I'll see ya. See ya. <laughs> Boy, you never disappoint, do you? Always finding fault with everyone except yourself. I've acknowledged my gambling problem, Jack. I admit that I have an addiction. I admit that I have Did admitting it help Victoria? No, it didn't, did it? You think there's a day that goes by that I don't beat myself up at what happened to her? She paid for my past. She paid for my addiction. I almost lost my wife. My son almost lost his mother because I couldn't stop gambling all those years ago, even though my family, you, begged me to stop. Why the hell do you think I'm here anyway, Jack? Because I don't want Kyle paying the same way. I don't want your addiction. I don't want your dependence ruining his life. Come on, man. You're the head of this family. You're the one we look to when nothing else makes sense. I can't do this by myself. I need you. And as much as I can't stand you sometimes, I need you. I need the Jack that can handle 10 things at once, can put me in my place when I am completely out of line, that can 
tell Victor Newman to go to hell without even batting an eye. I need my big brother, Jack. The man who holds us all together. Get out. What? You heard me. Get out. Get out of here. Leave me alone. You heard Uncle Billy. Yeah, I heard Uncle Billy. I heard everyone. And I'm sick of it. Sick of defending myself. Sick of denying your accusations. They're small and they're baseless. And they're insulting. And I'm done. I'm done. You're done. You're done. You're fired. I don't want to see your faces again at Newman or Chabot. What are you waiting for? Get the hell out of my house! Now! my guts and I told him things that I almost never tell anyone that didn't even make a dent. It may have. No. He's at full speed. He's heading right for the wall. I love you for what you did. And I have to believe that deep down Jack does too. <laughs> 